Welcome back everybody. This is just going to be a quick video letting you uh, see some of the R&D stuff that I do occasionally. Most, usually when I do it, uh, the companies don't let me actually show the footage because the products aren't available yet or you know they may not be produced or they may suck. However, Green Mountain Barrel uh, Barrels, they let me put this stuff out as I uh, do it. So I have not uh, you know tested this ahead of time. I don't know what it's going to do. You guys are going to see just what I do. But basically what they did is, if you guys remember a few months ago, they were experimenting with some 1 in 6 barrels. So uh, I tested one of them. It was a chrome line 14.5 inch barrel with a 1 in 6 twist. A lot of folks were thinking that it, uh, it might sort of rip the jackets off some of the lighter grains, like 55 grain and stuff like that. It totally didn't do that. It actually shot really well with all different loads. Um, which is why you always test barrels because you never really know what's going to happen. Uh, we, can, we can think we know, but until you test it, you don't really know. This one here is going to be stainless steel, 416R. It's got the one in six twist as well. It's a bull barrel and it has a really nice crown target, uh, target crown, I should say, on it. We'll, we'll roll in some pictures of it. I think it even says for experimental use only. So uh, hopefully it doesn't blow up. It won't. Um, but this one's 18 inches. So what that's going to do, uh, just for those of you guys that don't know, generally speaking, the shorter the barrel, the faster the twist rate, the less sort of issues you're going to have with lighter weight or shorter OAL bullets. Um, when you start extending the barrels, it's possible that you could have more issues. So we're going to test it today. We're going to see if that's true, uh, what kind of accuracy we can get, etc. We got the uh, Vortex scope on here. Uh, I think it's 6 by 18 power, so we're shooting at 100 yards. Plenty of magnification, plenty of clarity for what we're doing here. And uh, crosswind today, minor, maybe quarter value at like five miles an hour, so it shouldn't really mess with our results. We have some uh, Freedom Munitions, uh, 55 grain stuff. It's just a remanufactured ammo. Uh, the uh, 69 grain uh, Federal Match stuff, some uh, 55 grain Wolf steel jacketed steel case stuff, and then some uh, 75 grain Hornady tap. So we're going to see what kind of accuracy results we actually get out of this sucker. Uh, so some random side notes. It does also have M4 feed ramps as I'm looking in there. Um, so just a side note. Again, first up, this will be the uh, Freedom Munitions 55 grain stuff. We'll see how it handles these uh, light bullets with a short OEO. Not too shabby from what I can see here. One thing I should point out is the trigger on this gun is the limiting factor. It's a uh, it's a polished up mil spec trigger, so it's not going to be all that great, but it's still quite shootable. Again, we're only shooting at 100 yards. So. This is the Wolf steel case, steel jacketed. Don't expect great accuracy, but you never know. We've gotten it before out of this load. Not great, but good. <laughs> Clarify. Ah, oh, that first trigger pull felt good. I think that's just the inaccuracy of the round, the inherent inaccuracy of it. We'll go with Federal 69 grain stuff, the match. For those wondering the setup, we have Arrow Precision, uh, Upper Lower, BCM, Rival Company Bolt Carrier Group, uh, Head Down Raptor Charging Handle, UTG Pro Rail, which the review is coming, so stand by for that, guys. And uh, the Magpul Stock EBR and BCM Grip, so that's what we're working with here. Let's see if that affects because I know some of you guys think that'll affect the performance, so just note that for you.
Seems to like that load. Next up, the Hornady Tap. Last up, I should say. Go check those out. Down here at the Target, you guys already saw it. Obviously, the footage rolled in, but uh, this is the close up we're going to see. First, with the Freedom, we had pretty good groups, which is really what we've seen out of this uh, ammo before here in testing. Right at one and a half inches for that group, as you guys can see there. The Wolf, inaccurate. Don't, don't get her at it. Um, but again, it's, it's Wolf. Can't expect anything great. Just at three and a quarter inches for that wolf. Then we moved over to the load that we seem to think this one likes. It's the uh, Federal 69 grain stuff. Uh, I mean, I mean, that's ridiculous. That's like under a half inch. So, not sure if we could uh, do that repeatedly, but again, this is just the initial testing that we're doing out here. I know those of you guys that want five and 10 check groups, calm down. It'll be okay. And uh, even the Hornady, right at one inch. So, uh, good news is, for testing, as we just found out, as you guys saw, as along with me at the same time, uh, that one and six twist barrel seems to do just fine with any of the grains. So, uh, we saw no, if you look at the holes here, there's no uh, evidence of any sort of jacket separation or jacket tearing. Everything looks good. Uh, accuracy out of the uh, heavier grain stuff is better as we'd expect. It's also match grade loaded ammo, so it's gonna be better for that as well. But even the, you know, the 55 grain stuff there that some folks would expect out of an 18 inch one and six barrel to be, you know, grouping like that, it's not, it's grouping pretty well. So uh, that's really it guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and uh, it was better than the work you're supposed to be doing while you're sitting at your desk today um, or wherever you guys are, I'm just joking. But um, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for Green Mount to Green Mountain Barrow for letting us actually film this. I appreciate it because they didn't know what these results are going to be either. Could have been terrible. So uh, that's about it, guys. If you have any questions about the barrel, what we did here, the ammo, anything like that, you can always post below in the comments section. You can also post below uh, over at my Facebook page. But thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. And I hope to see you in the next video.